Many UFC fighters are known for their verbal confrontations or even trash talk pre-fight, which is unusual for our promotions where fighters are mostly friendly to each other. Can UFC fighters who compete in the same weight class be real friends? For instance, I know that you have invited Zubaira to Huga, who competes in the same division, to train together. Yes, Zubaira is a good fighter, very strong, I've seen his fights. I have invited him to Curitiba, a city in Brazil, to share a few sessions. That's good for both of us, we can learn something new from each other. Of course, he wants to be a champion. But when there's mutual respect among fighters, I can't say it's an issue. We still can be friends. Your wife, Vivian, has a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. She fought in two Muay Thai events as well. Does it help you to get along in ordinary life? I mean, having such common interests? Yes, it helps a lot in a personal relationship. She truly feels me. She knows how to approach me, what to say, how to support and encourage me in different moments of my life. My victories are her victories as well. She helps me concentrate and achieve serenity. You have an unusual tattoo on your shoulder, what can you say about it? <laughs> yes, of course. It's a tombstone with my name in Japanese on it. We all walk this path, and I'm ready. This is my resting place. It has my name on it. Still, I hope at that I'll get the Nosa soon. Just when I'll be really old. <laughs> <laughs> You're a happy man. You're still an active fighter, but you already have a personal movie. Have you seen it already? Yes, I've seen it, and I'm really happy about this. Is the actor who plays you good enough? Yes, he's been living alongside me for two years. We used to get along really good and I'm very happy that he managed to play the role straight to the point. When did you first feel that you want to become a fighter? Manaus, my home city, is rather remote. First I wanted to become a football player, but there was no proper school. Instead, wrestling was very popular, so I took up jiu-jitsu. In a while I understood that I can do better as a fighter than as a footballer. When I took up wrestling, when I took up jiu-jitsu, I was dreaming about winning the championship. So I trained harder and harder. At the beginning of your career, you said that you're after the money, that you want to buy a house. Now it's done. What motivates you now? My goal today is retaining the championship. I also have some personal goals that keep me moving. Is the UFC lightweight championship among them? Yes, that's one of my top goals. That's what I'm after. Concerning the fight with Connor, personally it reminded me of uh, Roy Jones Jr. vs. Montel Griffin number 2 when a strong fighter was downed Mercicus in the fight. Later Griffin said that he didn't get to warm up properly before the fight. Was it similar? Did anything distract you? No. No, nothing like that. I've prepared for the fight, I've been working out a lot. I had a plan for the fight, but everything simply turned the other way around. Which loss did you feel the most? Acevedo or McGregor? I really had to endure both. I wasn't born to lose, I was born to win. 
But my first loss was my first victory as well. The same is today. I've lost, yes, but I believe that I'll get to be on top again. It's an inspiration. Is it true that you're not exactly on good terms with Dana White, that you criticize UFC for its attitude towards you? No, not like that. I'm good with Dana, Lorenzo, or Sean Shelby, the others. But there are moments when I try to help younger fighters who want to be in the UFC, and there's a bit of misunderstanding about that. Of your opponents, who has the strongest willpower? Maybe Cap Swanson, Conor McGregor. They really wanted to beat me. Who was the fastest? Chad Mendes. He's the strongest, the fittest, the quickest. Did his doping violation surprise you? Yes, it did. I know many athletes on dope who always avoid getting caught. That's why I'm surprised. Demetrius Johnson said he doesn't care if his opponent is on dope. He's ready to challenge anyone. What can you say? I won't back down. I fight to win. I don't care if he is on dope or not. Jose, imagine a featherweight bout. Jose Aldo versus Renan Barral. Your expectations? While I'm still in this division, I am the champion. Yes, Renan dreams me about the belt. We're good pals, we train together, but anything can happen.